So on the eve of taking down our beloved 50 Kent that's been here 50 years, we have invited our friends and partners and donors and supporters to a tailgate party. Now because it's raining, we're here in our warehouse. If it hadn't rained, we'd be out around the tailgate of a pickup truck that was donated to us. So our pegs of water and juice are on the tailgate. But for now we're indoors and we're having some music, we're going to learn a theme song, we're going to auction the truck and auction an e-bike and some goodies that are donated. Someone even wanted us to auction a cinder block so they could have that as a memento of the building. So we're enjoying soup and bread in our brand spanking new Raising Hope mugs that are souvenirs for people to take along tonight. And we're going to share some stories about this great building and some of the holy moments that have happened here in the last 49 and a half years. So, wish you were here. So this is a, just a little bit of a sad evening as we say goodbye to 50 Kent, where we've been for 50 years. And personally, I've been around here for over 20, and it is sad to see the place empty and to know that even after we, we save a bunch of things here that we want to keep shelving and so on, that this place is going to come down. But I think most of us who were here tonight and those of us who have worked here realize that even though there are a lot of holy moments that happened in this space, we are ready to say that it's time to grow MCC's capacity. It's time to say goodbye to this building and expand what we can do to respond to the needs of the world. So raising hope is the way we've described our dream of expanding MCC's capacity to share God's love and compassion in the name of Christ. That's going to mean a a major and ambitious project here with a new building that will be a combination of the thrift shop and the credit union, MCC's head office and warehouse, and other partners that do housing and that bring the global church together and that produce media for the Anabaptist community. We think this is going to be an active place that attracts lots of people that are from within the Anabaptist community, but lots of people that may know nothing about Mennonite Central Committee or an Anabaptist vision of the gospel. So active, engaging, inviting, arms open to the community, not a ghetto of Mennonites doing their own thing for each other, but very much MCC and its partners expanding their view of, of what our call and mission is in the world. In the name of Christ. Are we doing justice?